Hello, my name is Tom Rent, and I'm a engineer who had the uh, privilege of being able to attend the two-day workshop in Hastings at the Rachel and Al Paca Sheep Farm, a farm that is basically a wool factory, and they have a very high demand for hot water to wash the wool before they spin it into yarn. In this white building here is their wool factory. In the back of their farm are all their, all their animals. The workshop was uh, led by Ralph Jacobson of Innovative Power Systems. He is meeting with the early group at 8 a.m. on Thursday morning to give us our instructions for the day and to give us a little history about the project and how it will be applied in this particular installation. Behind him was some scaffolding in a pier structure that was uh, installed the prior day by his company to house uh, five solar panels, uh, solar thermal panels that were built in uh, Alexandria, Minnesota and that's the size system that we will be installing over the two-day workshop. The panels are cre uh, uh, connected in parallel with the hot water uh, generated being stored in a storage tank uh, inside the rear of this uh, white wool factory building. As you can see in this picture here, the pillars have already been installed. One of our first acts was to plumb them up and to move the white uh, or the uh, I-beam structure from the scaffolding to on top of each of the pillars and paint, the, paint those I-beams to match. One part of the crew worked inside of the building on the storage facility and the rest worked on the outside. Here is Steve from IPS working on uh, a description telling us a description of out, how the outside construction went, showing us the configuration of the panels as well as some of the uh, structural construction blueprint uh, information. Well, this is this is a lesson in uh, layout. layout. This is a lesson in layout. Here's the uh, commercial washing machine in front of Ralph as he's explaining the water use and as you go around the room there's some of the wool pieces on um, some drying racks and some ladies who are uh, sorting the wool running the uh, spinning machines. Here you see the 15 gallon storage tank that will be used for holding the 50 percent mixture of water and uh, antifreeze used in the solar thermal panels. Ralph is uh, explaining to us uh, about the uh, how the drain back system has to work and uh, what angles and, and heights that the uh, storage tank has to be relative to uh, the panels on the outside as well as items in the uh, room here which includes a, a larger uh, storage tank and their existing water heater. Here he's, uh, we're trying to decipher where we can put a, build a shelf to house the uh, storage tank Just like with the construction blueprints used on the outside of the building, there is an internal plumbing schematic that captures the information about the piping and the valving and the pumps that are used uh, between the panels and the uh, facilities inside of the building. After assessing the inside information, the inside crew went outside to do some measurements to see exactly how many inches of drop we had to work with in dealing with the uh, drain back side of the solar thermal panels as the plumbing made its way into the building. This measurement is rather critical so you better get it right. This was one of the workshop attendees, Gary, who was very uh, helpful as were all the other attendees in making sure that the system was uh, being put together properly and that no mistakes were going to be made. 
it's one of those things where you measure twice and cut once. You're through! I can smell that thing cutting through there okay. better than I can so feel like it cutting see. through there. Uh, Jesus. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Here you see uh, some of the team putting some insulation on the back of a very compact uh, heat exchanger that will be mounted vertically in the storage space below the storage tank. It wasn't long and the shelf to hold the storage tank was mounted, the heat exchanger was below, and the holes cut through the uh, rear wall to house the plumbing coming in and out of the building. but we'll start from one end. Um, on very, very long rows like this, it makes a difference where you start. And in this one, we could start in the middle. The back one, um, yeah, let's start on the middle in this one. This is five. There's a center line to these beams. The center, the middle one on the center, the center, line. The middle one on the center line and go out there. However, I will, uh, not that you have to take notes, but this is a handy dimension. We were laying out this 40 panel job in, uh, in Falcon Heights. And when measuring across 10 panels, center to center on the unions connecting these panels, the dimension is 50 and one half inches. And this holds true for a row of at least 10 panels within a quarter inch. So I have marked my tape measures <laughs> when I do these layouts. Stood up completely and then pushed over onto the unions. The union's tightened by hand. We may or may not have to. Underneath, 
Matt and it was... Uh, 